All right, so, is it day seven? Anyway, if I don't get past this today, <laughs> I'm gonna look up the answers and pretend I understand what they're trying to say. If not, well, no, there's no if not. I'll just do that. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, this isn't fun. This isn't fun. Now put the input x repeated repeated y times. Hmm. I don't even know what to say. I'm not satisfied, frankly, because nothing else I tried worked and that just worked. And it was really obvious, I get it, but ugh. Anyway, let's see if I can work this out. I'm just glad to be past it. <laughs> that was that was the worst. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm back. Simple maths. That's where my coding skill is. It's either 50 or it's 428. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so does this equal 82? Oh, the apostrophes makes a difference. Okay, so I'm pretty sure percentage is the remainder. So it would be two. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Well, on that wrong answer, I'll come back and smash it tomorrow. Getting somewhere. All right, so day nine, I'm pretty sure I was not keeping track of the days very well, I think, in some of the previous days. So day nine, because it's the 9th of November. Easy to remember. Um, okay, let's come up to control structures by the look of it. Have I done this simple calculator? Oh yeah, <laughs> I stuffed that up. Input results in a string. Take two integers as input and output their sum. And just quickly review. Nope. In place operators. Hmm. Love that it says simple calculator. And here I am, stuck again. Let's see. Remember, input results in a string. I'm probably going to say two integers as input and output their sum. That makes sense. <laughs> um, whoa, I think I just had a breakthrough moment right there from last, from yesterday where I was kind of like, now I've got it. 
not just because of that, but because of the int and the string input. Cool. Feel smart, man. All right, booleans. We've got some boolean. Another type in Python is the boolean type. There are two boolean values, true and false. My boolean is true. <laughs> Not equal operator. Equal evaluates to true. The item being oh. Oh, sorry, I was thinking of, I had booleans in my mind at the time. So I kind of was the next level messing my brain up. Bullception. Okay, see if I can crank this out before the end of my time. Let's quickly run that. Yeah, how is that not? Anyway, sounds like a problem for day 10, Dan. <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've got it. Just need to tie it up a little bit. Uh, my print was wrong. You know what? No, no, no. We're good. Peace. Here we are on day 10. Pretty sure. Uh, of coding with Python. I think I left it on a bit of a um, cliffhanger. Wait, did I get this? How do I indent a block? Oh, maybe press tab. <laughs> okay. All right, well, close. Whoa. That's cool. That feels cool. That's really cool. <laughs> so cool. Whoa. That may look really simple to you, presumably a good coder, but to an absolute pleb, figuring that out, that simple thing out is like, what, that what? That's crazy. Oh, that's so cool. Um, what is the output of this code? Whoa. I wonder if I'll have enough time to do this. Might be a day 11 problem, but this is nuts. Hmm, let me have a look. Well, it looks like day 11 will be a challenge indeed, but after today, looking forward to it. Alrighty, so we're booting up on day 11 of the 14 day uh, Python 3 learning on solo learn trial. Um, this will be my last day actually with this backdrop, this house. Um, I'll be uploading a uh, house 
move video soon or maybe they'll come out before this one either way if it's out already it's here anyway who cares let's just jump into the actual coding uh, I left it on a pretty interesting note something that I thought would be fun a bit challenging should set my alarm first for 10 minutes and what are we doing <laughs> So if price is greater than money, divided by 10, <sighs> um, print, am I onto something here? Print, Yay, ice cream. <laughs> if price is greater than money divided by ten. Print Boo, no ice cream. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm just gonna run that, see how we go. <laughs> Invalid syntax. Okay, 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 okay. If total is now hang on, if yeah. what is wrong with my syntax? Okay, <laughs> day 12, the day of syntax. Catch you then. All right, so in the new house, uh, that video has probably already come out by now. You can check it out here or here. Uh, for day 12, I do believe, of the uh, Python challenge using Solo Learn, um, I will probably go to day 14. I was warned that maybe I'd have to cancel my subscription prior to day 14 if I was going to cancel my subscription. So maybe it'll only end up being 13 days. Also with the new uh, location, new house, um, I've got the aircon on at the moment, which was part of the reason why I moved. Uh, if that's too distracting, that I will turn it off in the future. But um, for the time being, I'm just making the most of it, enjoying it. Anyway, let me start the timer here. Uh, all right, and let's uh, get to it. I think I was on something relatively difficult. Is it the ice cream one? Okay. Write a program that will take the money I have and the price of one ice cream and will output the remaining money only if you can buy that ice cream for all your 10 friends. Okay, something's happening in my brain. I can't, can't quite explain it. Um, I don't know if I need this. At some point we're going to use one of the old things that I figured out. I think it might have been um, the slash slash one. Uh, let's see here. Total. You know what? The aircon's too loud. Need to focus. 
Let's see. Total is greater is less than money. This is kind of just maths and I'm just sucking at it. It's not really coding. Well, yeah, it is coding, but maybe coding is just maths. Anyway, keep sussing this out. Um, day 13, I'm gonna get it. Catch you then. Alrighty, so we're back with day 13. A very spooky Friday the 13th today in Australia. Um, working on this puzzle this code or this challenge, whatever you would call it. Ice cream for everyone. Don't know how many days I've been stuck on it. It's not quite as frustrating as before because I know that I know how to do it. I just don't remember. <laughs> True story. Um, let's see here. Let me pick this out. Oh wait, the remaining money is 80 minus 70 equals 10. Maybe I don't even need the dash dash or the percentage sign remainder thing. I could just... Expected an indented block. Wait. This has to be indented as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. scratch this. Wait. Oh, I'm close. Think. Think, think, think. I'm close. Let me just bounce these apostrophes, maybe. Maybe it's that simple. Come on. Come on. Holy. Wow. I mean, it wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. I thought I'd have to have two lots of ifs, but still. <laughs> Maybe it's fun just doing maths again. Maybe because I did straight math science in high school and then did a couple of years of engineering. Let's not talk about how that went. <laughs> Maybe it's fun just doing maths again. It's really satisfying. I might keep this up. No. Not like this. Oh, well, that, I should get that one easily. Anyway, until tomorrow, bring on day 14. Feels so good after day 13. Alrighty, it is Saturday the 14th of November, my final day of my Python 3 solo learn free trial. Um, working on else statements today. Yeah, I'll just jump straight into it. Hmm. Ah. That must be it. Okay. I don't know if this will be right though, because I think I've done this before. So it comes out, welcome, Amy. Okay. Sorry, Gary. Okay, so there's no space. That's the problem. There's no space. So I've tried it with apostrophes only around the keywords. And this should just come up right next to each other. Wait, that's what just happened. Wasn't it? Oh. 
Doesn't even. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So that's all right. Oh, no. I've done that before. All right, I'm gonna go back and look at. Oh, I should fix my posture. Um, I'm gonna go back into Tam. Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. What if I simply put in a bloody space there? This is gonna work. The difference. <laughs> oh, just sorry. Hang on. <laughs> How good is that, man? Ah, oh. this is great. You did it, mate. Ah, oh, this must be an Australian or an English app to call me mate. Thanks, mate. All right. How good, that feels so good. Um, every if condition block can only have one else statement. In order to make multiple checks, you can chain if and else statements. Here we go. Wait, what did that say, Pythagoras? Oh, we're doing some bloody trigonometry. So A squared plus B squared is C squared. I wonder if I'm thinking too, too hard about this. Maybe I'm not. Okay, I'm just gonna try to do some Pythagoras stand here. Maybe I was saved by the bell. <laughs> All right. So, we just jump back on solo learn. That was really cool. That was super fun. I'm definitely going to continue it, so I won't be canceling my free trial. Um, I will just be continuing on probably 10 minutes or so a day without the camera, um, seeing how far I can go, seeing how you know prolific I can get at Python. Obviously, it's gonna be a long haul because I've pretty much forgotten everything I know about problem solving in maths. Because <laughs> all I've been doing for the past, I don't know, seven or so years is English, writing, that kind of stuff. But SolarLearn's a really cool app. Uh, I haven't, didn't really have any problems with it at all, if I recall, which is um, really great. Uh, it is quite simple to use, um, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know if I've got a very good idea of what coding is yet after this free trial. I, I know I can do maths, but I really wonder. And I know there were some examples that sort of said um, for in games like variables and inputs and stuff like that, you can have someone I can imagine characters talking to each other. So I can imagine a uh, sort of a text-based game or something like that at this very simple level. So I guess on that front, I do have some understanding of how the code can control things within a game, which is kind of the, um, the medium that I'm you know, relating coding to, something I'm interested in. Um, so in that sense, yeah, it's not totally just a math thing. I do understand how it sort of all comes together, but the app's really good. The user interface is really good. Um, I had a fun time. Uh, it was a really enjoyable 10 minutes of my day. Uh, and like I said, I'll go forward, keep learning. And you know, who knows, in a few months time, I might do an update video of where I'm at uh, and you know what I've learned and how I can see it being implemented into games. So solo learn, 
it's worth the free trial uh, and I'm gonna keep paying for it, but do what you wanna do. See you later.